With the carousel being 100 years old, we have to merge new technology with old technology, and we got to put a wheelchair ramp on this carousel, and we were able to be here when the carousel opened, and somebody came up in a wheelchair and just simply asked us, hey, is it possible for wheelchair guests to ride? It just happened to be the perfect coincidence. Getting to witness our first uh, wheelchair-bound guests riding the attraction was just pure pixie dust. Disney is different from working at other engineering companies because it's an entertainment company. It's not just about the engineering, it's about providing an amazing experience for all the guests. I am a big force for quality. I always believe in quality products. Disney really draws me to that. It's always drawn me to that ever since I was a child. They always have had a quality brand and a quality process and you don't really find conflicts and worries with Disney. It's a place you go to have fun and relax. Collaboration at Disney is different than a lot of other places. I think for me, I was really surprised at how helpful and kind everybody was. So it's great working on teams here because everybody's always willing to help each other. Recently, I had the honor of working on Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout at Disney's California Adventure, and it was one of the highlights of my career so far. Um, I got to be part of the engineering team that helped design the profiles for the vehicles. So all of the vertical motion up and down that you experience during the attraction, that was my design. And we've added in this other component where we have to work with the story and the artistic piece of it. I think that's part of the difference between Disney and other engineering firms is that most engineering firms are very focused on the functionality and the safety and getting a reliable piece to work. Disney does all of that, but we have to also take into account the story and work that into the piece. It's an entertainment engineering firm, not just a regular engineering firm. So rather than the design being focused on what's the most affordable, what's the simplest way to get this done, it's all focused about what does the guest see? What makes this magical? I led a team that worked on the Pandora World of Avatar shaman figure. They worked on analyzing the figure and it was really amazing to see the guests' reactions because when they had seen previews, they weren't sure if it was an animated figure or if it was some type of CGI. Without engineering at Disney, we wouldn't be able to tell the stories that we do. If we have some great technological advance and a real feat in engineering, but it detracts from the story, it isn't what we're trying to serve the public with. Same as if we have too much story, we can't build it within the engineering realm, it won't work either. We have to find a nice balance between the two so that they can enhance each other. The narrative really does drive the function here at Disney. Once you embrace that, you'll have a lot of fun in this job. I'm Laura. I'm the Architectural Design Studio Executive within Environmental Design and Engineering at Walt Disney Imagineering. My role is to lead architecture. We really treat ourselves as sort of a, a global, holistic design entity. We are the greatest entertainment design firm on the planet. And we have the privilege of working for the Walt Disney Company, which is also one of the most recognized and admired companies in the world, too. Environmental Engineering and Design is a segment within Walt Disney Imagineering that basically combines a great deal of disciplines from an engineering background, theme lighting, show lighting, architecture. So we are the ones that bring the creative vision and make it a reality for so many people and so many projects. I had the pleasure of being the civil lead for three areas within Shanghai Disney Resort. Uh, Mickey Avenue, which includes Gardens of Imagination, Treasure Cove, and Adventure Isle. We design the most incredible immersive environments, and that really is the trend in almost anything out in the design world today. So one of my favorite projects was working in Paris. Outside of the Paris Resort, I worked on the International Retail Manufacturing Showcase, which ultimately became the first piece of Marne La Vallée. For Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, the amount of immersive experience that we are providing for our guests has led to an extensive amount of detail work and working as the principal civil engineer for that entire project, uh, we're executing that vision from Lucas and from Walt Disney Imagineering. Going down to the parks so that my staff can really see the fruits of their labor and to also see the joy on the guests' faces as they enter the park is really important. If we're designing amazing, exciting things, we have to be amazingly excited about what we're doing. The most rewarding part of being an Imagineer is definitely creating new family experience for everybody that comes and visits our parks wherever they are internationally. Walt's vision as Imagineer not only guides what I do, but I think 
As an organization, it drives us to do the best that we can to continually innovate, create, and bring things to life. One of the things that's really not only inspiring but rewarding is getting to see the guests walk through the new lands that we create, just to see their faces light up when they see Cars Land or when they see a new area that we've created and brought to life from a film is an amazing feeling. One of the main projects that I'm working on is the Walter E. Disney steam train that's actually up at a vendor right now and was completely torn apart and inspected for us to see what needs to be done and it's now being rebuilt back up to its original form so that we can bring the Walter E. Disney back to property. The work that I do does change daily since I have so many projects in my portfolio. What I need to do each day changes depending on what projects in the field, what project needs attention in the design phase. I definitely did not think while I was going through school in mechanical engineering that I would be working with steam trains, but it is something that I now really truly love because it's one of Walt's legacies. We do have our steam trains, the Walter E. Disney, Royal Disney, Lily Bell, as well as the Roger Brogy. So I really love that it's something so special to our company and to a lot of our guests here at the Walt Disney Parks and Resorts. We have some projects that are pretty straightforward. They might be things we can get done in even a night, but larger projects not only take weeks and sometimes months to complete in the field, but they might take sometimes years of planning. Work at every park or resort is a little different just because it tailors to a different kind of message. Animal Kingdom in particular, obviously there's animals everywhere, uh, even places you don't notice, but that doesn't stop our work. So we still need to maintain the facilities animals live in or are seen around or even just are near. You don't expect to need to know Florida Fish and Wildlife codes, but you know sometimes when you're designing new exhibits, you, you do. So at the end of the day, it's about the safety of the animals, the safety of the guests who enjoy them, and the safety of our care teams who oversee their enrichment and their well-being. A really neat project that I got to work on was the steam train roundhouse where our steam trains stay for the night. When I was an intern, I got to be involved in the development of that project. So when I got hired on, I was able to take over that project and actually work with it in the field, which was a really awesome experience to see something from my professional internship to my full-time career. A lot of our work while we're doing it is a huge impact to the area. So when you have to take a ride down to do maintenance or rebuild something, you take it out of service, it doesn't open for days and weeks at a time. So here, if we miss a ride downtime by three days, that could be thousands of people that are here for the only time in their lives that never get to ride that ride. So it really inspires you to keep your work to schedule and really deliver. I love coming to Magic Kingdom, especially when uh, some of my projects that I've worked on, guests are on and smiling on. That really gives me a sense of passion to continue doing what I'm doing and know that what I'm doing matters to other guests. To be selected for the opening team for Pandora, the world of Avatar was, was amazing. Some of the highlights for me was being able to walk through the land before it even opened and knowing that I was going to be part of something that was going to be significant not only to our park but to the world and our guests were going to come in and experience it. I am now in a post-opening responsibility. What that means is I work closely with WDI or Walt Disney Imagineering and we meet every week and review warranty issues or anything that needs to be adjusted in the land to make sure that our guests have a great experience. In my role, my team is responsible for maintenance of everything from kitchen equipment to electrical systems to the lighting that you see in the park, air conditioning and plumbing. Part of my responsibility is the team that maintains the Friendship Boat water taxis and the barge equipment for the Illuminations Reflections of Earth Nighttime Spectacular at Epcot. I had the privilege to be involved in the design, construction, and commissioning of Disney's fourth laundry operation, which is a state-of-the-art $42 million facility that processes sheets and towels and pillowcases. After spending close to three years designing all the way to bringing it to the first time we flipped the switch, it was enormously rewarding. Well, one thing that amazed me when I started working here was how sophisticated we are as a company. We have so many different divisions that work in line with each other, and the fact that we're able to meet the same goal every day and communicate with each other is truly amazing. At Disney, what's different about the leadership culture is that our leaders really care about the well-being and the happiness of, of our cast members that work here. We're all inspired by one goal, and that's to give the guests just an amazing, unforgettable experience. It gives me a sense of, of pride to see their smiles and their enjoyment of the things that we do every day. 
Many of our guests come here for a once in a lifetime experience. So we owe it to them, not only as cast members, but as leaders. And I feel that we're all empowered to provide that perfect visit for our guests. I'm proud to be part of this team. Every day I'm inspired to come to work because I know I'm impacting our guests, providing a positive experience, and having a positive impact on our cast members as well.